my brother was working with me, and uh, he was sort of a logistics person, uh, figuring out the streets we would go through with the crane and so on and so forth. Then all of a sudden he disappeared. I couldn't find him, and I turned, and there he was, wearing a beret with a guitar, serenading the bubble. For a second, I didn't recognize him, then started, and I realized that the um, actor in him, uh, when he was working at the studio, people always told him that he looked like Al Pacino, so secretly he wanted to be an actor. Although he never displayed this acting ability, he went out and did things with the bubble, serenading the bubble, lying on the floor, kicking his legs, doing all sorts of things that surprised all of us. Uh, and it's probably the only picture where there is somebody that is not part of the crowd, but an actor, so to speak, which would be one of my crew members, working with the bubble. So uh, that was Stanley. The thing that Simone did that was unique was most of the time she was capable of pretending that there was nobody outside uh, the bubble and she re reacted very little to what people did unless somebody did something unique. When a policeman came up pretending that he was angry that we had put the bubble in one of the, in, in one of the shoots that was in front of bar, a, a, the bar, it was a bar of some sort. He came up and started to argue with her. Yeah. And instead of her, of her reacting uh, argumentatively, she started smiling and flirting with him, which seduced him completely, and that gave me an interesting series of pictures. <laughs> 